Hey mamas, I have beef with people the same way that I have bed bug bites all over my skin. I don't want it, but I somehow have it. I try very hard to be in good graces with people, and yet somehow I have collected dramas as small as a meatball and as large as a goddamn cow. But obviously, I'm, I'm gonna do the mature thing. Um, we're just gonna end this video. Bye. Just kidding. We're gonna prank call them and wreak absolute havoc on their lives. <laughs> Opponent number one. <laughs> This is a very mild beef. This is like a chicken or a fish more so than a beef. But I did a video earlier this year where I told celebrities that I got a tattoo of them and I DM James Charles saying celebrity is generous for him. But anyways, I said, can you unleash your inner artist and uh, give me a tattoo idea? And he said, OMG, is this for a YouTube video? This is a lot of pressure. And then said, perhaps a Minecraft pickaxe or your fa your favorite face card. And I didn't reply for a day because I was I was busy. I, I don't know, I just didn't reply to James Charles for a whole day. And he said, bad suggestions are what? So I sent him Minecraft pickaxe spelled out, uh, like photoshopped onto my finger, which I thought was, was pretty good Photoshop. Like, please comment down below and say, Ben of the Week is a Photoshop God if you think I ate that up. But you know who didn't think I was a Photoshop God? James Charles! He clutched me and said, not the Comic Sans with 20% outer red glow. And I tried to like let the bit live a little bit longer. I said, that's not opacity, that's infection. <laughs> and he said, nope, that's poor Photoshop skills. So I said to hell with it. And I replied, I just want James Charles tattoo love. <laughs> I, I sent him a Dolan Twins meme saying when you and your best friend are in a fight. And I say this is mild beef, this is chicken or fish, because uh, I've seen him at a couple of parties, and <laughs> I'll be like over here like... I thought he James Charles. <laughs> but I have, since that DM, made eye contact, unfortunately, with James Charles, and gotten the death glare of my life, the... <laughs> Question number one you probably have. Do you have James's Charles's number? Yup. Question number two, how the heck did you get James Charles's number? Well, that shit was online. James Charles, your number is publicly online. G deal with that. If you don't believe me that this is real, I went to Be Real. The Be Real profile checks out, and one of my mutual friends is friends with the account. So let's give him a little call. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Okay. I think it's a lost cause that he's gonna pick up. I don't, I don't pick up random calls. Unless. I am going to text him and I'm gonna create a ploy, a circumstance that will be so convincing that we'll have no choice but to reply to me. And I actually don't know if this is gonna work and if this doesn't work, then this video doesn't exist. But if you're watching this, I goddamn did it. No one responds to random texts, but I messages. Hey James, this is Wilson from Reaching to let you know that we have an item in Lost and Found for you. <laughs> he replied with, I don't have a membership, nor have I ever been to one. What item do you have in Lost and Found? <laughs> My fellow Americans, we got it. Opponent number two, Benji Kuo. The drama I have with Benji uh, is very minimal. This is like the lowest form of drama. He told me that he renounced his Canadian citizenship. I am a Canadian and I took that personally. Let's get his ass. call um did, uh, okay are you going to like the justin bieber um freaking party thing like the red party Where? okay i like saw like your name was like on the list it's like in ontario on like i think like the 31st of like november and 
Yeah, 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 I was like going through it. Like my manager like sent me it. And um, I like saw like right next to my name because it was like my first name. Yeah, it's like Justin Bieber's like throwing this like this like red party for like all these like celebrities and like influencers and stuff. It's like for like Canadians only though. But um, but why just for nothing? They don't better know. They don't better know. I don't know I'm oh, oh crap! Yeah, you announced you're you're not a Canadian anymore. I want to go to Canada again. I want to go. Oh. Because that was the prank, bozo. That was the prank. You just got pranked. There is no Justin Bieber red party. You wanna, you wanna renounce your Canadian citizenship? I just texted. I texted. My public list is being like, apparently I'm on some list for a party. Like, why haven't I heard of this? This prank sucks ass. Yeah, well, your one piece jokes suck ass. I've heard it a million times. I'm pranking people that I had beef with. And we had like a mini beef like three days ago when I was like, you renounced your Canadian citizenship. And I was like, and a bit of a merry prankster. Oh, yeah. So, I'm on the toilet right now. <laughs> Opponent number three. This man has been harassing me for literally years. He first yelled me in 2021 asking to collab um, and wanted me to react to his videos. These are his videos. Please don't watch me. I'm just an innocent. Please don't give me another wedgie. I'm just an innocent. Nerd. Nerd. It's time Please, for I'm another wedgie. Please don't let me not I like the staining character, very, very awesome. Yeah, so, what's up? What's up? Now I told him we would talk on the phone so we could plan a collab, but I'm actually just signing him up for online therapy. Uh, what's like, how's your, like your current like physical health? I'm, uh, I'm good. Okay, uh, the next question I have is just like general questions. Um, have you like ever like experienced like trauma? No, I had a great childhood. It was only until I was a teenager when I got fat. It's just how to shoot me if I'm skinny now. Okay, gotcha. I actually don't want to collab. Uh, I've been signing you up for online therapy right now, so uh, and I'm gonna send over the. No, 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 we're not collabing, Dominic. Okay, I hope you. I hope you get better. Bye bye. No, 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 no. And now, finally, the one that you have all been waiting for. Uh, Probably. I talked about this for the first and last time on my podcast, and after today, you will never hear me talk about it again. Even though this person has made over 30 videos on me, continues to mention me on her live streams, I do not even think about this person. At, like, at all. But, today is my birthday, and I do feel like having a little bit of cheeky birthday fun. So I'm gonna prank call her. <laughs> Final challenger! The biggest Okay. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice messaging. I don't know if it's because she's in Italy. I don't know if it's because she doesn't pick up random phone calls. Understandable. She didn't pick up. But what if I told you I did a better prank? <laughs> she sells personal video messages. Now, obviously, if I said that I was getting one, she probably would not do it. But I said that my name is Josh and I want a video message for my sister. Benita. What's something special about Benita Sanchez that you want the vegan teacher to know? Benita is stuck in her ways and eats meat to spite me, her brother. She grinds up pig livers and puts them in my smoothies as a prank. And not only did I get a pep talk from the vegan teacher, eyes in Benita. She posted it on her TikTok too. Hi, Benita. I don't know if you know who I am, but I'm Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. Apparently you haven't been too nice to your brother. <laughs> This Apparently fucking music. You, I don't even know if I want to say it because it was so cruel what you did. Apparently you took the body parts of an innocent animal and blended them up and inserted it into something that he was eating and you thought this was a big joke. <laughs> How would you feel, Benita, if you found out that somebody ground up body parts of a cat or a dog and did that to you and thought it was hilariously funny? It's not funny. What you did was really cruel. I'm actually writing a book about exactly that kind of behavior. What the fuck? <laughs> not the book plug. All right? Okay, thank you. I'll see you later. So I commented, LOL. <laughs> and she replied. She said, hi, Ben. 
thank you for booking a cameo for me. Stop eating fish. Be better. Be vegan from now on. Whatever the fuck that means. Thanks for watching. Love you. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Sometimes when I wake up, I want to shoot my